Uh, did you know exactly what you wanted to pursue in a new project when you started it? Did you, well, or did you have fake ideas? Well, I, I thought I didn't know exactly because I thought, well, this is something entirely new. I've never been in a different band than After Forever. It's always been my been my single single band, so I didn't know really how to how to handle it, how to. Uh, but uh, when I started to write the songs after our not our previous, not our last uh, uh, South American tour, but the tour before that, everything just came out at once. And um, so, musical wise, instrumental wise, it was it was pretty natural to, to write the songs, to program the drums, and to do some bass ideas. Um, but um, afterwards, when uh, the musicians like uh, like the drummer from God Detroned, Arjen from from, from Weisenbeek, and the bass player from Star One and Arian, Peter Vink, had played the songs, with which they did really brilliantly. I, I've never seen such aggressive musicians it's it's been amazing then i wanted to work on the vocal lines and i thought i i thought that i wanted to do everything myself in the project but uh but soon i found out that i had a lot of vocal lines and some of them were, were cool some of them didn't w really work out and also lyric wise i had all the subjects of the songs i knew where i was you know where they had to go about but the problem was i didn't I wasn't able to create the, the, the lyrics the way I wanted. I'm not a lyric writer. Okay, okay. I think I'm... I'm um, first of all, writing lyrics uh, should be in English, normally. And um, can we still hear anything here? Uh, how come you didn't, well, didn't want to write the lyrics or you thought well, we couldn't do it? I, I, I had all the subjects and they, they all deal about frustrations of mine, real frustrations. And um, But I cannot, you know, if I have to write lyrics in, 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 in Dutch, it would be difficult for me, but, but, but a little bit, you know, a little bit easier. But the problem is it should be in English and I cannot really, you know, get the real frustration ideas in English the way I want it. Because, you know, I, I know a few words and that's you know, like hate or you know, or kill or whatever. But I mean, that's not that's not the, the real message. Did you did you have a song already written? I mean, uh, a lyric? Yeah, some lyrics? Yeah, yeah I had, can, I had can a few you, can, songs. Can you say some lines, just to make your well, just, just to make your point? Just what I said. It's it's uh, you know, it's most of the time it was you know I, that I hate something like that yeah. or that I just wanted to annihilate something or something like that. And I love those words. I mean, they. they they are very cliche, but I love those words. But you should have a lot of words uh, yeah. to use for, for, for that these kinds of feelings. More, and more subtle, maybe. Exactly, and more subtle. And uh, and that's when I when I thought, hey, let's let's work together with a friend of mine, Amanda Somerville. How did you know her? I knew, I've known her for um, uh, collaborating on the Invisible Circles album and the Reimagine album. And I thought in she what had way? A, well, uh, normally we do everything ourselves as a band, after forever. Um, so, um, so Amanda had the task to, to, to guide Floor as a, as a coach, you know. Sometimes when you have recordings, it's, it's difficult to put the same energy and emotion in it when you sing the same line over and over again. And Amanda was there to really control this, you know, to really keep her focused. But, uh, but, but well, uh, uh, how do you say that vocal lines and, um, and and lyrics we normally write you know uh, the band writes uh, floor writes them but I knew that Amanda uh, did a terrific job with a lot of other bands lyric wise and vocal line wise and I thought and, and she can uh, do it in any style and I was sure she could help me with this really aggressive stuff so, uh, so I asked her, and she, 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 yeah, she was uh, glad to do it. So uh, we, you know, we just did some demos, some ideas, and I played her some some vocal lines I made, and I explained with each song what I meant, which subject it had to go about.